Hello, this is Artem Tuliev with Gaffin Real Estate. We're here at 1953 Racer Street in Thousand Oaks. This house is located in a more desirable New Meadows neighborhood. Uh, very lovely neighborhood, a lot of greenery, very quiet street. Let's go take a look inside. So this house has just under 1800 square feet. It was built in 1964 and has been completely remodeled with no expenses spared. It has brand new kitchen, got uh, some dining room area here and space for bar stools. This is a Calicotta quartz countertop with nice waterfall feature. Plenty of cabinets to store in the kitchen area. Brand new stainless steel appliances. This is a beautiful kitchen with a lot of space to work over here. Got a lovely window looking out to the west side so you can see the sunset and the final rays of the day will definitely warm up this room. Right over this way, we have an official formal dining room. You can fit a large table and sit, as you can see, at least eight people with comfort. It's got brand new fixtures all over the house. Really nice style, I like it. This is a good sized living room. This window opens up into the panoramic view of the city. This house is, sits on top of the hill, so you have this gorgeous view at night. There's definitely city lights you can see. Here's a nice fireplace, with some artwork above it. It feels very airy and spacious. Everything is clean and very nice. Very lovely feel inside the house. So first bathroom is right this way. Come over, take a look. So it's got two dual sinks over here, plenty of room and some storage below it. Here we have a bathroom. It's got shower and you have a full tub over here. This door will take you to the backyard. We'll go on the other side in just a minute. So if you follow me right this way, we got to look at all the bedrooms. So this house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. There is some more storage space over here. Pretty good sized closet. So this is the first bedroom. It's a smaller bedroom. Again, there's a big window looking out to the west side. So this is early afternoon. There's a lot of light coming in the, in the room. There's another closet over here. Okay, let's go look, take a look at the second bedroom. It's right next to it, right here. This one has even more light, because it's got double window. This window faces this hillside, and here again, you're looking at the west side. Another uh, little closet here. Honestly, the roof, maybe the house lacks a little bit of storage space, but there are two large sheds in the backyard you can throw in a bunch of stuff. Here we have Craftsman style built-in cabinets for additional storage. And this is a master bedroom right this way. Obviously a lot more spacious, also double windows. This window looks out to the east side, so you have morning sunshine. Also, you can see the, uh, the panoramic view out of this window too. There's enough room for a large bed and you can fit a work desk if you need. Large master bedroom right here. It's got double counter as well. Really like the gold finishes here combined with this white tile. I like the walk-in shower. Again, it's got some sitting room over here. You can fit a couple of people in this shower. <laughs> Have like a pop, uh, shower party or something. I'm just trying to picture myself waking up in the morning and enjoying this beautiful view out of the window. Lovely.
This is a bigger walk-in closet. You can actually walk in here. Not bad. Now let's go take a look at the backyard. I really like the idea of being able to enter the backyard from the bathroom. For example, if you have kids that decided to play in the pool over here and they want to jump in the house, they don't need to run around, bring all the dirt in the living room and dining room. They can just pop in right here into the bathtub. I would spend most of my time here in the backyard because it's got beautiful view. I love the panorama right here. Got the view of the hills, a little bit of a neighborhood, uh, lovely houses there. You can see mountains down there. This house has a lot of about 0.28 acres. So there's plenty of room to, to play around over here. It's got new lawn, drought friendly plants. I'm looking for a citrus tree, but I'm not seeing any, but I think you can do without it. Let's go take a better look at the view. I love the barbecue. I would put a barbecue right over here so I can cook and just admire this gorgeous view. It might get a little bit windy occasionally because we're on top of the hill, but I think it's good enough. So these are the sheds I was mentioning before. They are identical size. So let's take a look inside here. Definitely plenty of room to store things that you don't want to keep in the house. You can see neighbor's pool right here. They have really cool pool. If you make friends with them, maybe you can jump in there. <laughs> so from here, we go into the garage. Pushing the door is locked. I'm gonna go from the inside. So sliding door will take it to the dining room. I just really like this kitchen. Let me stand here for another second. It's a good sized garage. Very nicely finished. They painted the ceiling. They have beautiful fixtures. They finished the ground right here. It's very nicely done. There are outlets for your laundry ready to go. And you can fit two cars easily over here. And again, you can go into the backyard from here. The property is 0.28 acres. You got just under 1,800 square feet inside the house. You have three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and you got an awesome view like this. Lift price, 1,249,000. I think it's a great value, given the fact you can enjoy all this.